Hello YouTube, Infinite Magic Ray Community, Gandalf here. Uh, for those of you who've been following closely with my channel, you probably noticed uh, all of these videos on my new adventure on my uh, free-to-play challenge account. Um, I haven't forgotten all the seasoned viewers on my channel. Um, I, I apologize, probably should have rolled this out a couple days earlier. Um, maybe you are looking for my thoughts on the new hero. Uh, Ronai. Um, first of all, I have to give it to the devs team from a design perspective. This is a very nicely done character. The animation is great. Looks really, really cool. Um, th I love the fact that they actually went ahead and even did her skill animations and trying to, uh, s you know, get people interested in this hero. I would say her key exclusive will be exclusive one from a PvP perspective. Uh, her PvE potential, um, yet to see. I mean, unless we start changing a meta where it's not a shield meta, where healing is very important, and we do see a little bit of that in the um, in the elemental city part, but like you really need to find a way to make healing very critical almost like shields won't work and you can't shield and you automatically lose health and you must heal your way back up like it has to be some sort of crazy mechanic like that to bring the healers into more relevant now i know they mentioned about um the the new content endless cloister and you have to survive 25 waves so in there perhaps you know, getting a, a very solid healer will be helpful. Uh, I mean, we all do have we all do have Catherine, by the way. Catherine do have a very nice kit along with it. What's really nice in here is there is poison though. Poison could potentially synergize a little bit with if you do need to uh, do poison damage. Um, but in terms of you know how much. How much potential do you actually have in this hero? And how should you build her? Um, let's go right into it. So first of all, from a damage potential perspective, what you're looking at is you're looking at um, a 300% multiplier on attack damage that ignores defense. Okay, that's mediocre um, on a four turn cooldown. Um, the key, though, in her PV potential is around the turn meter reduction and also turn meter gain. But the most important thing is actually her unique uh, ability here to balance her effect hit and effective res and gaining up to 120 this way. So you could technically build her to like an end game player is easily hit like 120 to 150 effective hit. So effectively you're going to be dealing with a hero that's 120% effective hit and effective res. So that is kind of nasty to deal with. Um, if we look at her effective res and effective hit, they're going to balance out to the higher of the two. They're going to be the same. Um, we are seeing more and more heroes that can't be controlled, um, but her turn meter still can be manipulated. Um, the other part is innately she brings in uh, sort of a half of a consolidation uh, and then reduce direct damage a little bit further. Um, so this is really cool. Um, it stacks consolidation a little bit further if there's a heal on them and when there isn't consolidation it's 20% so it's like consolidation one by default. Um, and I think it goes up a little bit more. Um, so it goes up to like 10% and 24% I guess uh, from here. Um, and then you can, every layer of heal granted by Rona, they give them 5% turn meter and one layer of, at the beginning of the wave, Rona grant heal on all allies for two turns. So if this actually works as expected, which we're going to test shortly, is if everyone gets heal, everyone gets 5% turn meter immediately.
it's plusing 5% turn meter for all heroes at exclusive 3 then, making this a very... Okay, so, so let's test that. Okay, so for example, we have... Um, we're going to bring in Popper and... Um, and we're going to bring in some heroes with turn meter already. Um, and we're going to start the battle. Bring in space. And we're going to bring in a popper. Just so that we kind of understand the interaction a little bit here. We're also going to bring a bunny. Because I think what's this going to do is give that extra turn meter to everyone on the team. And what we should be able to actually see the difference. Um, this bunny, bunny's blue. Okay, so at the start of the battle, everyone's going to get a heal. Everyone's going to get a little bit extra turn meter. Bunny got the most amount of turn meter. Because Bunny is starting out with, oh, sorry, my bad. Um, let's this probably makes it most notable. Let's let's take out space. Well, space we kind of already see there. Let's let's not use Quinlan. Let's put in something like Lydia because Lydia automatically get a turn. So you can start to see the 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 uh, speed difference on the turn meter a little bit. So first of all, um, you, what you should see is that at the start of the turn, everyone got 5% turn meter, even Ronite, right? Uh, Lydia is going. But now what we're starting with is Bunny actually has 35% turn meter. The enemy you got. So let's let's do the same thing. Let's give the enemy the same hero lineup, but I think we're going to end up going first, right? They're going to, let's just show that they got a space. They got their... Let's give them all the turn meter boosting ones. Let's give them uh, Ascendo. Let's give them Popper. Um, I think that's enough, right? Um, they all have the same high base speed. What we're going to see is I'm going to go first, but our turn meter you see is going to be a little bit more more than that. So let's compare the speed on Ascendo. Ascendo is 1070. My bunny is 170 as well. But my bunny will be the one that will go first. Let's just go like that. See, my bunny is going to go first because my entire team got that 5% extra turn meter from Ronai. So by having Ronai on your team, you can start winning these speed races because you're going to get more turn meter up front on top. So that's 5% on top of what they start with. Okay, so hopefully I explained the mechanics well to you enough so you kind of understand the difference. See, both teams used to you know, be who's faster. Now with Rona, you get 5% extra because of you need exclusive 3 to do that. So... What do we think is going to happen? We're going to see her basically enter the speed cleave meta. Um, the, now, let's talk about the rest of her kit. So first of all, just on the speed man, turn meter manipulation alone, she is now basically top tier in PvP because of that. Um, just simply because of the turn meter manip manipulation and the ability to go first. Um, very key hero there. Okay. So now, um, yeah, so my entire team will go. But let's let's talk about Rona's skill here now. Now, we are going to do poison damage, but we're actually not going to land poison. The thing here is you also have CC with her. So she's going to get enfeeble, and she also can do a speed up and give another heal. But when she gives this heal... Every time when she gives heal, it's in 15%, but it's 15% plus another 5, right? So it's really 20% turn meter gain for everybody for this. Because of the because of the uh, the passive she has, right? It's like every time. So 
let's make sure we read it correctly. Yeah, every time where you're going to get that. And moreover, she's going to be increasing her own uh, home speed right away. So effectively, even though she only gets 5% from the start, at the beginning of the turn, she is going to gain 25% speed up up front. So she's going to outspeed people without turn meter right away. That's massive. We're going to test that in a sec. We'll do some speed tuning uh, exercise here um, by setting it, and we'll go battle, and we'll show show that a bit. Um, that's some scary stuff there. Because 25% turn meter up front, like, she's going to outspeed people by quite a bit. We'll, we'll, we'll show that. We'll, we'll show the calculation a bit. Um, we'll get to that. Um, and the survivability. Okay, but she's not going to land poison. So, I mean, okay, so so we can see the damage there. The damage is not that high. That's not what we're doing doing it for. Uh, I think the bunny is what gave the extra turn. Yeah, uh, we're going to be able to do turn meter increase. Okay, so let's let's try that again. Um, this time we're going to do a little bit of turn meter setup, right? So she's going to get five percent up front, but she's going to get five. You see the little you see here. You saw the five. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the arrow, but uh, on the screen. But you see the five from the start. So that's 25% speed up from the start. Her base speed goes up by 25% as a result. So um, if that is true, then um, by getting a 25% speed up boost, uh, let's see. Um, so your space gets what? 30% turn meter, but like, um, oh, I don't know. What's the best way to compare? Like pretty much anybody without a turn meter boot, she's going to be able to beat. And she's going to be able to, in theory, beat people to even catch up to a space. Maybe let's see. Um, a space has zero point, a standard space, a typical space. Okay. A typical space has uh 26% turn meter boost from the start. Let's assume your enemy space is say 3000. So I'm going to actually take out my space. Um let, let's do this exercise here. Line up. We're going to just get rid of all my turn meter boosting heroes. We're going to put in random we're, we're going to put in five random heroes here. On the enemy, we're going to give the, you know, we're going to give them a space. We should be able to outspeed them. Um, we're going to do battle, um, and then let's do the speed setup. So let's assume your enemy space, for ease of numbers, we're going to do 3,000 speed. So at 3,000, that's the equivalent speed of a space of a moving hero divided by 0 0.74. Um, so that's going to be equivalent to 4,054. However, if your Ronai has um, 0. Point f so she started with 5% turn meter because of that already, right? Because she gains that. So all she really needs then is 3,851 speed effectively to, to beat the space. But hold on, you can divide that by 1.25, which means your Ronai only has to be 3,081 to beat her. So 3,000, we're going to do 3,082, confirm. And our Ronai is going to go first, right? Um, battle? Is that the right stats now? No, that's not. Okay, we're going to have to do it this way. So we're going to do the enemy team. We're going to have to save the attributes. We're going to save the lineup. Oh, man, I don't want to... Okay, we'll, we'll do we'll do it on the slow space speed relatively. So it's one thousand. Um, it, it all scales proportionally. So we're gonna leave the enemy speed speed at that. My own team is going to be. Um, sorry, sorry for wasting time there. One, um, we just need to be just a little bit faster than the space, and it will it will work, right? Because she will start with um, one six four divided by seven four. 
times 0 0.795 divided by 1.25. So our Rona just needs to be at uh, 1089. And, and so one speed faster than that, she should be able to outspeed the space. Uh, restart with current settings. Maybe that will work. Okay, let's see if they got the right speed here. So the enemy got 60, and I got 1362, which is the speed I was looking for. And now our Rona is going to end up going first. Because she, the thing here is, the, the power of the speed up is she gets it when everybody's at zero turn meter. So effectively, she's catching up substantially quicker. So you can use her to outspeed space almost. You just need to be faster than your enemy space by a factor of 2.8%. Um, so if you're talking about a 3000 speed space times 1.0, it's just 80 more speed. It's it's not that difficult to achieve. So effectively, even without another turn meter booster on her own, she's going to be able to go first against space if you just have a little bit better gear. And she's going to go faster than most other heroes. And giving your entire team a turn meter boost. And then this is going to give a 20% turn meter to your entire team. Allowing you to connect your combos. And she can also turn meter reduce as well on both of her skills. So she's like a really, really solid turn meter manipulator. Okay, so I think I rambled on enough. Verdict, okay, she is... As much as I tell people to try to save their uh, miracle summons, and I don't hype heroes up very often, but this is like popper level business of PvP turn meter manipulation. In fact, with her plus popper, you're going to be faster than the other popper. And, you, and, and she is going to be very easy. She's not going to have trouble keeping up with your other ter, your, your heroes that has the turn meter boost. Because I just showed you that because of the 25% speed gain at the beginning of her turn, she's going to keep up with the like of Space Bunny and, and others as well. So you don't have to worry about making her that fast to to keep up with the rest of your hero to do like another term meter reduction so there you go um super strong hero for pvp got here um get her if you have the resource to do so um but keep in mind i think christmas is only two months away pretty sure we're going to get a limited hero um they i mean they just gave one for for holiday so and i think in dev notes before they did mention that limited heroes will come every holiday so i think we got five or six in one year so probably expect another you know five this year all right wherever you are please enjoy the rest of your day and wish you the best gandalf out